All right. Hey everyone, welcome back to Monkey Sessions. My name is Jacob with Hakabita Yoga, and we've been doing this for one whole month, which when you're hatching a little baby is very fun to see. It is the first session in June, and the first session where the first ramp up period of four weeks has ended. And now that we're here in Pride Month is very exciting, but I also want to start off and unequivocally say, Black Lives Matter, and this is a safe space. And with so much going on, I have always found that yoga is a place where no matter what's going on in the outside world, and no matter the work we have to do, we can look inside and take 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 25 minutes to recenter, recharge, and then get back to the work. So in today's class, we'll continue the themes from last week and add on some new things. So we'll start like always with breathing. Place your hand on your belly and settle into the breath. Start to feel what it's like just to come into your own body and even flicker the eyes shut. And as you breathe, pay attention to the length between the inhales and the exhales. There's a concept in yoga of pranayama, which is mindful control of breath or management of breath. And I want to lean into that today as a way to center ourselves. So on your next inhale, we'll do it together over three counts. Inhale, three, two, one, and exhale, three, two, one. Now let's bring our hand up, fog up the mirror. Inhale, three, two, one, and on the exhale, fog it up. Three, two, one. Let's add a little bit of movement. Inhale, arms up, three, Two, one, nice and slow. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, halfway lift, two, one. Exhale, forward fold, three, two, one. Inhale, arms rise all the way up, three, two, one. Exhale, fog up the mirror, three, two, one. Inhale, just through the nose, on the three count. Three, two, one. Exhale, forward fold. Two, one. Inhale, halfway lift. Let the pacing bring mindfulness. Exhale, forward fold. Three, two, one. Inhale, arms rise all the way up, reach through it, extend the side body. Exhale, three, two, one. All right, one more time on your own pacing. I'll lead, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, tune into the breath. Inhale, halfway lift. There's no need to rush, we're here, we've arrived. Exhale, forward fold. Feel all the little bits of your body that are tight. Inhale, arms up, rise all the way. And exhale, hands to heart center. What I want to work on today from a skills perspective is some of the things that we did with Chaturanga, but a little bit more. So come down to hands and knees. And if you're familiar with cat cows, we haven't done them in this practice, but just take the time to arch your back like an angry cat and inhale, look up. We'll call this one cat. Continue your deep breathing as you roll through these. Next time you do it, join me into cow pose. Inhale, look up. Three, two, one. And exhale, push the ground away, arch the back, curl chin to chest. Three, two, one. One more cycle. Inhale. Three, two, one. Nice long exhale here. Three, two, one. All right, come into a neutral position. Extend your right leg out behind you. Balance your weight across your two hands and your one knee. And from here, connect with the breath. See how it feels. 
And if you can, bend the knee and swing the hips across. So we've got a bent knee and our toes are actually leaning out over the other side of our body. Stay here for a long breath. And exhale. Now bring your leg back to center. Raise your left hand so we're on opposites. Right foot in the air, left hand in the air. Inhale here. Three, two, one. And hold it. Exhale. Three, two, one. All right, bring everything down. One cat cow just to open up the back. Feel the parts of your spine that don't usually get movement. Raise the left foot off the ground now. Commit to the breathing. Feel what it's like to balance. Bend the left foot. And as you're ready, open up the hips. So your hips are kind of tilted off to the side. Your toes are reaching towards the side wall. And breathe into it. Three, two, one. And exhale. Three, two, one. Lengthen the left leg. Hover it above the ground. Now bring your right hand up. Palm can face wherever is comfortable and stay for the three count breath on your own pacing. And exhale. All right, bring everything back down. I want to practice the ways getting down to the ground we've done before. So just give some motion, rocking back and forth on your hands and knees. And as you're ready, let's roll forward thighs, hips, belly, ribs. Pop the chest up, look forward, and float the palms. Just right here. This is always an option to come to when you, a teacher asks you to do a chaturanga. Plant the hands, come back up. Now let's rock forward into the chaturanga. So pull the elbows in, elbow sockets forward, and don't come down, but rock your whole body towards the top of the mat. So we're here on what we were calling platter pose last week. And then pop the legs up, and if you can, stay for the three count breath. Inhale, three, two, one. Drop the knees if you need to, I will. Exhale, three, two, one. Come back into a downward dog. Just walk your way up gently to the top of the mat. And let's integrate some of those feelings into today's flow. Settle into your feet, settle into your body. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back. Stay up on your fingerprints. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into your downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet, wiggle the hips. But most importantly, look at your hands and push the ground away. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale, rock to the top of the mat, and balance yourself on your whole hand, your whole fingers. Don't forget about that. Inhale, three, two, one. Stay for the exhale, three, two, one. Push back into your downward facing dog. Bring both knees down, right foot to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift the back foot up, look ahead. Exhale, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, strengthen the back, perpendicular to the ground. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up, reach through it. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back. Up on your spidey fingers, inhale, look ahead. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward. Get the weight off the wrists and into the fingers. Inhale, three count breath. And exhale, three, two, stay here, one. Push back into your downward facing dog. 
stay for a moment. Exhale, plant the knees, left foot now to the top of the mat. Push the ground away through your fingertips, back leg up, inhale, look forward. Exhale, feet together, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the crown. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise, reach all the way up through the pinky fingers. And exhale, hands to heart center. All right, let's build on what we've got. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, right foot back. Ground into the feet, lighten up on your hands, and on the inhale, swing up into your high lunge, also called crescent lunge. It is so fun to see everybody sweep up like that. Check in on your belly. Is it forward or is everything tucked and contained? Inhale here. Is your knee over your ankle? Check in on it. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into your downward facing dog. Rock forward to top of push-up position. And now let's roll through starting with knees, thighs, belly, ribs. Inhale, float the palms behind you or clasp them behind your back. Inhale here, three, two, one. Exhale, stay for it. You can grab your shorts or a towel if you prefer. Two, one. Exhale, plant the hands. Come back into your downward facing dog. Inhale for a moment. Exhale, drop the knees. Right foot to the top of the mat. Plant everything, raise the back knee. Inhale, sweep the arms up. We're right back here in our crescent lunge. Check in on the knee. Check in on your hips. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the hands. Step forward. Forward fold, bend into yourself. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up. Reach through the fingertips. Relax the shoulders. Keep them down. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more cycle. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Remember the pacing of that three count breath. Exhale, forward fold, plant the hands, left foot back. Inhale, look ahead, get light on the hands, and one more time, sweep up into that crescent lunge. Containment in the belly, reach from hip to fingertip. Exhale, hands down, step back into your downward facing dog. These mosquitoes are kill eating me alive right now. I hope you don't have that problem. Inhale, rock forward to top of push-up position. This time, fire up the, the legs. Feel it in your calves, even if you can. And we'll roll down. Exhale, knees, thighs, belly, ribs. Inhale, look forward. Float the palms off the ground. Grab your shorts or clasp them and raise the feet. Inhale, three, two, one. Stay for the exhale, three, Two, this is how we build the heat. One, plant the hands, come back up to your downward dog, push the ground away, exhale, knees down, left foot to the top of the mat, pop up the back leg, and when you're ready, swing off back up into crescent lunge. Oh, you look so good. Inhale here, fire up that back foot. What's it like when you give it some attention? Exhale, plant the hands, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more iteration, commit to the practice. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sweep forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot back, knee down, and stay over your knee for just a moment. Get settled. And on the inhale, sweep the arms up. Containment in the core. Inhale, reach through the side body. Exhale, plant the hands, 
Step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward, top of push up position. And now bring your knees down if you prefer, or roll yourself forward into chaturanga. Stay for a moment and push yourself up into up dog or baby cobra. So bend your elbows or extend them all the way, bring the chest to the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Exhale, plant the knees, right foot to the top of the mat, get set up, free breath here. Inhale, sweep the arms up, reach through everything. Push the back leg into the mat, how does that feel? Exhale, plant the hands, step feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, heart center. Commit to yourself. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, left foot back, knee down. Settle in. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Reach through the hips, push the back foot down. Exhale, plant the hands, downward facing dog. And slowly, like you're pushing through molasses, rock to the top of the push-up position. And you've got options. Come down into your chaturanga or to your belly. Inhale, up dog or baby cobra. Inhale here. Exhale, step back into your downward facing dog. Both knees down, bring the left foot forward. Sweep the hands up for the last time. Inhale, reach through everything. Exhale, plant the hands, step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Okay, let's build onto what we've done in previous sessions. Inhale, arms up. We are linking together flow. Exhale, sweep down. Inhale, halfway lift. And on the exhale, plant the hands and just walk yourself back into a downward facing dog. You can rest on your knees for a moment if you need it. We're gonna keep rolling. Raise the right foot off the ground, just a touch, or as much as is comfortable. Bring it forward, plant between the hands, get light on your fingertips, and swing up and open into warrior two. Plant the back heel off to, toes off to the side. Knee on top of ankle. Check it on the hips. Are they level or are they tilted? Inhale here. Stay for the three part breath. Dig into it. Inhale, three, two, one, and exhale. Three, two, one. The breathing is hard, guys. It really is. Take the forearm, plant it on the thigh. Sweep the arm up and over the head. Inhale here. Exhale, come back to your warrior two. One more time, plant the forearm, sweep up and over, find length from the edge of your foot through the fingertip, spin the chest towards the ceiling, inhale here. Exhale, come back into your warrior two. Plant the hands, cycle down, foot back, plank position, and you've got options. Chaturanga or roll the body down. Inhale. Baby Cobra or Up Dog. I'll take Baby Cobra this time. Inhale here. Exhale, push down and back. Downward Facing Dog. Other side. Inhale, left foot up a little or a lot. This is a construction zone, it's up to you. Bring it forward, plant between the hands. Cycle the back heel to the ground and inhale your way up into Warrior Two. Switch sides for the demonstration. Inhale here, sink a little deeper on that front knee so it's truly over the ankle. Maybe flip your palms up to the sky, then bring the hands back down. We want rotation in the biceps, stay for the three part breath. Inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Plant the forearm on the thigh, Sweep the right hand over, inhale here, maybe turn the chest up. 
Don't give up on that back foot. Inhale, come back into your warrior two. And one more time, plant the forearm, sweep the arm up and over, and reach just a little more. Inhale here. Exhale, come back into your warrior two. Cycle the hands back onto the ground. Step into your top of push-up position. And let's do any variation you want. I'll take knees, thighs, belly, ribs. Inhale, baby cobra, just right here. And exhale, back into downward facing dog. Push the ground away, stay here for a moment. And then make your way to your knees. We're gonna end up on our butt. So to build a little heat throughout today's practice, we focus on the breath. Today, I wanna combine that breath with a little bit of core work. So hands uh, right behind you, plant the feet just ahead and lift your heels off the ground. So it's just your toes connected and maybe even float them off. Stay for one big breath, inhale. And exhale. Plant the feet, come onto your back, roll your head to the ground, raise both feet off the ground, squeeze the knees and the ankles together to start. Then raise the head and chest, stay here. We'll do this for a three part inhale. Three, two, one, and exhale. Stay with it, connect, commit. Two, one, bring it all down. Raise the feet off the ground, so the feet are perpendicular, right? we're incrementally building up. Take your hands, hold them to the sky, like you've got your little, uh, your little tray up there. And now bring both arms out to the side of the left leg, something new. So we're activated, we're propped up on our core, our back shoulder blade is off the ground if you can. Stay for the three part breath, inhale, three, two, one, and hold it if you can. Squeeze, exhale, three, two, one. Come down, whew. All right, one more side. Raise the feet off the ground, shins parallel to the floor. Raise head, chest, and shoulder blades off the ground, hands up to the sky, and rotate everything outside the right leg. Inhale, three, two, one, squeeze your legs together and exhale. Three, two, one. Let it all go, come back down. We'll do that one more time in the center, this time with a little extra intensity. Raise the feet, squeeze the legs together, reach your hands up to the sky, and now bring the whole unit so that forehead comes towards knees and reach through everything. Inhale, three, two, one, and exhale, hold it, stay for it. Three, two, one. Come back to the ground. Bring your knees together and widen the feet a little bit and just sort of rock them back and forth like a windshield wiper. For the longest time I thought that was a specific cue and it's not, you're just throwing your legs around. Bring your knees together into your chest, rock forward and back. Squish the mosquitoes that are biting you right now. <laughs> Settle in, squeeze everything together, forehead to knees, forearms to shins. Double the intensity, squeeze harder. And on the exhale, let it all go. Sink into the floor, release everything. Remember the intention that you set just 25 minutes ago. Revisit it and check in to ask, was I present? Did I tune out for just long enough to feel whole? And remember that no matter what the answer is, you showed up, you worked with what you got, given the present circumstance, and you did the very best you could. 
And in these times, all the time, that's all we can ask for. You're welcome to stay in Shavasana, or I will sit up to close out the practice. We're right at the top of the hour, so if you need to head out, you are welcome. I'm so excited and grateful to have everyone with me here for the June version of the Monkey Sessions. Uh, there is some information in the sidebar. There's a survey. If you could fill it out and help me understand where we should take Hakkabita Yoga next, it would mean the world to me. We've got some exciting YouTube content coming. So with that, I will leave you. And thanks, everyone. We'll see you on Wednesday and Friday of this week. Insta people, drop me a little uh, a little emoji because it's very hard to tell who's actually attending right now. Zoom folks, thank you. It is always a pleasure. I'm so glad that we got to share this time. Oh, Luis, you're two for two now. I'm so excited. Uh, now the challenge is on you to bring a friend. Nancy, I'm so glad to see you're back. Ian, I think it was your first time with us, but I hope that it meant something to you and you enjoyed the practice. I will see you here same time, same place on Wednesday. All right. Let's make the most of this week, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.